Oh man, so Lakers center Christian Woods almost went out sad as these IG models are trying to ruin this man's career, dog. This thing is crazy. But this is why platforms like mine exist so we can go ahead and tell that man's side of the story. So let's get to it. Early today, this video started to go viral with this IG model named Hi My Name Is T put out this caption saying this right here. My friend wanted to go to dinner so I babysit her son. All of a sudden, this man shows up at my house telling me to give him his son. I never met this man a day in my life. If fumble a family and fumble a contract was a person i would never give my friend's son to somebody i don't know at 5 a.m in the morning especially if they're having a dispute you got a problem called the police and that's exactly what he did and then threatened my family after the police showed his son safe and sound with his baby mother came to the door with a shovel ready to beat my head and ass so he said thank god the baby wasn't there this man is dangerous and not fit to be a father lakers genie bus Christian Wood I was seeing in court so she tags the Lakers and she tags Jeannie Buss because she's trying to ruin this man after this situation right here now here goes the video right here beat me with a shovel you want to beat me with a shovel why are you on the side of her house why are you on the side of her house why are you on the side of her house why are you on the side of her house for what there's no your kid is not here your kid is not here he got a shovel you got a shovel for what? Yeah. Snitch ass nigga. Police ass snitch ass nigga. Shut up, bitch. Your son's not here. He's gone. I already told you. He's out of town. Hope you never see your baby again. Okay, I don't know about y'all, but um, the, the brother don't seem threatening to me. And yes, he has a shovel in his hand, but there's so many different holes in the story, we gonna get to them. So once again, why is she calling him a snitch? There's also some photos with him outside speaking to the police officers. Now let's read these text messages right here. So this is um, T in the blue, and this is Christian in the gray. She says, yes, she is, and I'm giving a baby to her as planned. So this starts off with some things being left out. So he says, should I have her mom call you? Give me my son. No, she is not. I really don't want to get more police involved. She responds saying, I don't even know her baby daddy. I'm not giving her kid to somebody I don't know. Christian Wood, look it up. I'm here outside. Give me my son. All right, call the police. Good night. I'm having her mom call you and I'm calling the police. Okay, so you see something's skipped out, you know? um something right here says on my life i'm really trying to help you i'm the legal guardian of that child yes is in jail if you refuse to give me my son they will say it's kidnapping i hope he's strapped so he's responding to something that she's not showing i hope he's strapped so this girl must have said something about some man that made christian respond i hope he's strapped so right here it says i'm gonna see you around i know who you are should have stayed out of it and she puts you may see me around but you won't see them around because they're leaving out of town thanks for all those threats though laker i'm gonna send this to genie bus my team will be in touch so several things he's saying i'm trying to help you and then he says i hope he's strapped he's responding to something that she's not showing us and she's saying that he was threatening her well i think he's responding to something that you're saying now here goes the other side of the story from christian wood's sister she says i'm with my brother chris wood and been with them the entire night this is a lie yasmin popped up at my brother's home with three other girls hopped the fence vandalized his cars and home and the, and the neighbors called the police she was arrested and the cops told my brother that cps would get involved and to go get his son yasmin friend gave christian the address to his son and was told t has him me and Christian went to get the baby and I told my brother to call the cops so they can dispute the situation and safely give the child to him. When the cops arrived, Yaz was out of jail. The cops advised her to let him see his son. T snuck out the back door at 4 a.m. with the babe to Yasma house. We left to go to Yas house peacefully. The shovel was against the sliding door. My brother grabbed it to move it. Not once did he threaten, hit, or attack any way. T ran out of Yasma house, then called the cops and lied and said we had a gun. She continued to say what I won't let anyone do is lie and assassinate my brother's character and post different stories of the story. He did nothing wrong but tried to locate and get his son before CPS gets involved. This is sick and disgusting and with him the entire time. Um, That's weird. Well, I said that's weird because um, T completely left out the point with the girl going to jail. She said that the baby was being left at the house to go ahead and um allow Yasmin to be free to go to go to dinner. So on top of that, T confirms. She confirms the girl went to jail. 
despite omitting that point when she initially came to the internet with that story she didn't speak about the girl vandalizing the man's property and the police saying he needs to get a son she didn't say that but um she responds saying this no b i walked out my front door and went to yasmin house with the baby so that when she got out of jail she could come straight home to her son because your brother threatened to take the baby from her and to never give him back so everything that she's saying we have no proof of it but you're confirming what the sister's saying okay t and why are you playing keep away with a man's baby when the police officers said that he should get his baby? Okay, T. So she continued to say, when the police was at my house, I wasn't there. But when they contacted me, I showed them on FaceTime that the baby was safe with Yasmin, the primary parent. She left and y'all came racing to her house to break in and your brother threatened me with a shovel. The only reason he didn't beat my head in like he said he would was because I was recording. Okay, where's that part in the recording? Uh, we never see any mentioning of that all right to continue while he went upstairs to do god knows what i left out yasmin's house to get in the car as you harassed me on the sidewalk saying you know where i live and you wanted me to be you want to beat me up i got your threats on camera too babe post them okay so t continued to say this right here he did this after i gave the baby to his mom after the police said everything was okay he threatened to murder me y'all keep asking if i'm okay no i'm not so she continued the sister response saying girl you're a damn lie i was uh, i was there you never gave the baby at all you don't even know my mom or have her contact she lived far away so stop with the lies um i think she means his mom meaning his being the baby to um yasmin all right so let's continue reading um he tried to murder you i recorded the entire incident we never came in contact with you till we got to yasmin house and chris never once touched or threatened you why would you get on social media and lie on my brother's name like that why was he arrested or there is no police report saying your life was in danger or threatened yasmin's house has cameras so i commented you know <laughs> i commented to point these things out to the, the viewers okay so you see t mentioned jail so i said jail i thought you said you were babysitting while she went to dinner so christian's sister responded to my comment saying thank you the girl got arrested for coming to my brother's house at 2 a.m hopping the damn fence acting a fool and was arrested this why he was looking for his son we don't even know that smut and she and yas friend she an ig friend why couldn't my nephew be with his dad and aunt till she got out of jail we actually were on the way to bail the damn girl out they ended up releasing her after a few hours wow and i told her thanks for your clarity sorry this playing out on social media like this i do my best to post this side on my platform and that's what i'm doing right now man so t still saying things y'all can't be this slow dinner first jail last that's crazy that's crazy but look i don't care what y'all say if my friends say protect my babe the father's dangerous then that's what if i'm gonna do in the story it seems like your friend's dangerous the reason why i say it seems like your friend is dangerous because we have some footage of your friend being spider thought from the IG multiverse hopping over this man's fence and going to damage his car. Look at this chick go. Look at her go. Is this the Oh, 
Come outside. Okay, so y'all seen that footage. Now the caption says that the girl was arrested um, after police found his license plate in her car during a search. So they went and got the chick, Yasmin, after doing this. So the story may be getting blurred in certain places. T may have been lied to by Yasmin as far as going to dinner, but ended up going and do something else as far as damaging the man's property. That may have been a situation, but no matter what, that was left out when she came to present this situation to us for everyone to see. Now, if you was never trying to clout chase the situation to a fake exposed the man, you know, while anyone with a brain could see that you was provoking him in a situation when he had a shovel in his hand, which they said he was just moving it from the sliding door so he could try to open the door to get his son. If you would have never posted that footage, then this situation would have never been known and your friend would have been out here looking crazy. Now she looking stupid, you looking like a liar, she looking like a, I mean, she is a liar based on what we're saying. I mean, one of y'all lying, either she lied to you or you lying to us about a dinner in jail situation, I don't know. But once again, you threaten this man's livelihood, and if that's your friend, then you understand that job helps her child. His job is probably the reason she even got knocked up in the first place by the man. And here your silly wanna be seen behind trying to go ahead and ruin everything these people got going on after throwing yourself in this situation. Like Christian Wood said, you should've stayed out of it, man. Hey, Christian Wood, um, I'm gonna be respectful to you because you know your sister, you know she gave us this information from your side, but I will say your taste in women is horrible, my boy. This woman, Yasmin Lopez, you know, she already has a baby father in the, um, the NFL named Trayvon Diggs. She's a little IG yachty, thotty. Yeah, man. Y'all passing the same chicks around. This is a situation y'all end up with these type of women. But in my opinion, man, Christian Wood is vindicated. He has no issues. He was just picked the wrong woman, man. Outside the situation, more things may have happened, but I don't see it. But y'all gotta let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here, though. This is another update with Stace. Yo. Yo.